Welcome back to the wasteland my friends. Today we are going to be finishing the quest line searching in the dark. Um, we are on quest 5 out of 6 and it is called factory upgrade. Search the Robco factory for extraterrestrial technology. We've been churning through the data that came back from that UFO lab we scouted a while back. Turns out the old government turned over most of their specimens to Robco. We found a holotape among the junk you brought back from the UFO crash site, mentioning something about the next step in the development of advanced AI. Luckily, the nearest Robco factory is pretty close to our vault. Let's send some dwellers there and see if we can find that research data. It could make a big difference for our vault. Alrighty, let's do that. Um, sorry about my stuff getting collected, it's kind of noisy. Also, I've been um, reordering it and rearranging everything, so it looks pretty nice now. Um, yeah, let's go. Check it out. I'm already there, so shouldn't take too long. Okay. Discover where Robco is keeping their research. Oh, wow. I've never seen this, guys. I've played this game a long time and never seen this building. This looks pretty epic. Oh. So you can see it kind of cuts off right there, but let's just be right there, and that looks really good. I like the background buildings in this game. They're my favorite. They're so cool. Probably my favorite out of all Fallout, like just the buildings. They look like the art design of this game, guys, is just top tier. Then we got the sign of Robco Research Center. That looks pretty epic, guys. Alright, let's move in. Okay, I think we've seen this before, this Robco this room specifically. Oh wow, we got some charging pods and some iBots. Nice new animations and some pretty cool sounds. Wasteland gear, which is actually a hazmat suit or hazmat cowl from, uh, I think it's Big Mountain. And I think it's Big Mountain. I could be wrong, but yeah. Anyways, they were making that suit that we just collected. I'll put it on this guy just so we can look. This suit right here, they're making it for the Sierra Madre people, the workers at Sierra Madre. Turns out it sucked the people in and then now they're ghost people. Just a little bit of lore. Oh, wow. According to the crash site logs, Uncle Sam let Robco have the object they were always gabbing about. This is the closest Robco factory. It's gotta be here. Maybe. Maybe not. I doubt they'd hide something like that somewhere so public. True. Man, this looks epic, guys. These are classic Fallout 3 and New Vegas terminals. These look epic. I really like them. Definitely, uh, definitely new. I'll let you guys know whatever's new, because I've played this game, as I've said, since 2017. Does the manager's office terminal still work? Got a holotape here with a whole bunch of entries. Yeah, there's even something about a government contract and the R&D lab. I think there are coordinates. That's gotta be it. Let's head back to the vault and dig a bit deeper. Ooh, nice. Power fist. Ooh. Oh, that, that doesn't seem to be rare or anything. Robco factory uniform. It actually looks pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Looks like the Watoga jumpsuit from Fallout 76. I like it. But it's not superior to that. And the power fist, 13 to 18 damage, that's pretty good. Alright, let's go over here. So, it looks like the glove is, like, not really even on the dude. I'm gonna unequip it and then equip it. I doubt that'll fix it, but you never know. Nope. Yeah, it seems to be uh, kind of semi-broken, not gonna lie. It's still cool, though. I like it still. Don't get me wrong. It's just, uh, just a little broken. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish uh, looking through this vault, guys, or this room specifically, this building, and then um, like I'll, I'll have the video pause and I'll resume it if I find anything interesting or new, or when I get back and I'll just resume it and you guys can 
see it with full convenience. Oh, by the way, look at this. He's punching, Dylan Lee is punching that eyebot from over here. That's impressive. Alrighty, we are back at the vault and our people have just arrived after drinking some Nuka Cola Quantums. Oh wait, no, they're already entering, my bad. Okay, so we're gonna go to the quest list and we're gonna see what's up. Whoa. My friends are electric. Or my friends are electric. Get into the secret Robco R&D facility and track down their research data. So we get a rare, a legendary plan, legendary junk item, and a legendary outfit, and it looks like a spacesuit. We cracked the executive's logs from Robco factory and discovered the location of a secret, of a secret Robco R&D facility. It occupies a series of secret levels below a retail store at the local mall. Robco was using an using alien technology to advance their robotics research. They were trying to build something big. If we can figure out what they knew, we should be able to use it to make major improvements to the vault. Sounds pretty nice. Let's um, get some dwellers. We got me and Dylan Lee. So as you can tell, I did do what I said. I got T-51 power armor and a good old plasma caster. Oh, I don't want this uh, power fist. I want this lead belt here. There we go. All right. We ran all the way there or used our Chrysler's highwayman. All righty. We are at the, the Robco secret facility lab. Let's head in. We parked our Chrysler outside um, somewhere you can't see it. It's off camera. Sorry about that. The secret research base is here. This is just a store in a mall. Where better to hide your secret research than under everyone's noses? I agree. Intruder, intruder. Great, more killer robots. Nothing we can't handle with our heavy weapons. I'm so glad we got that plasma caster. It's so epic. Alright, let's move on. Whoa. Whoa, don't shoot. I'm not like those other ones out there. I'm Ed. I was an engineer here before my face went all radio. The good stuff is down below. Take all you want, as long as you take me with you. Hmm, you seem alright. Sure thing. Okay, thanks. I'll meet you outside when you're done. I can't wait to talk to people when, who can talk back. Well, that's good. We got a new, um... That dude's looking like... He's a pretty cool outfit, not gonna lie. It's like a space science coat. Oh, wow, it's right here. Robco R&D suit. It looks kind of cool. I like it. Let's. See. I didn't even read the stats, though. Endurance 2, Intelligence 4. That's pretty good. I like this outfit, though, better for our people. So we said downstairs, so I'll check upstairs, and then... Um, I'll show you guys if there's anything interesting or neat up there. But let's head in. Let me get rid of the dog so I can see that plasma caster in action. Nice. Yeah, just Merc gear. Merc gear looks a lot like um, advanced um, riot gear. Or elite riot gear, whatever riot gear you want from Fallout in Vegas to divide. This is a pretty beefy protectron. What did we get? Just a stem pack and some caps. All right, this has got to be the room with the loot, right? Oh, no, there's another room. But I, I'm guessing it's this room. Look at all those sparkly chests. It's 
It's kind of weird seeing how tall those protections are. They're like, uh, so I, for my, one of my lore videos for the T-51, I, um, I have an action figure, uh, it's a, to scale model, I think it's one sixth, and I measured it to be about, I forgot what I measured it, but it ended up being around seven feet tall if it was in real life. So if I'm seven feet tall and that protectron was standing above me, just imagine, guys. That was a huge protectron. Oh, here's the alien. Guarding the loot with his life. I really like uh, his the noise he's making. That's a good old classic Fallout 3 alien noises. Oh, that dude lied. There's no loot down here. Unless I was completely wrong and I misread it, which I probably did, to be honest. That sucks. Alright, well, we'll go back to the top. None shall pass, none shall pass, none shall pass. Alright, we got a Gandalf protection in here. 12 foot Gandalf, the robot. I love how they die, it's kinda, it's kinda sick. They just drop. Some good old glue in that greasy robot. Oh, wow. There it is. We found it. Whoa, it's big. Um. That's an UFO? <laughs> UFO. It's a... Never mind. Finally, grab what you can and let's get back to the vault. Alrighty, guys. Look at this. Okay, we got a building out here, right? Nice on the outside. You can see there's windows and stuff. So I should have gone to the top of the building like I normally do, but I thought I'd um, go down to the vault and then see what's interesting at the top because that's what the dude told me. But in typical Fallout fashion, it's a bit bugged. And instead of it being crashed in the ground and then the building being on top of it, it's uh, somehow right here. I don't know how that even makes sense, so... That's a bit whack. I don't know, um, I, I really don't know. So just imagine that this room right here is down here. That would make way more sense because you can see there's like caves and stuff. It's all dripping. We got stalagmites, even though it's literally in the middle of the building. So either this building is an SCP or it belongs down there. Okay, we get some good junk and a good old space suit. Nope, come on. Get back to work, everyone. You're not done yet. I want to see what the space it looks like. Oh, it's called an alien spacesuit. It looks pretty cool. I like its. Uh, I like its design. It's got a nice helmet. Nice red colors. It looks a lot like the original ones. Alien spacesuit. Perception 2, intelligence 4, agility 2. That's definitely a good suit, golly. I am keeping that. That's amazing. So, in my opinion, it's gonna. I think it's better than the robot armor because it gives you um, 8 total stats compared to the six total stats for the robot armor but endurance is good so if you want to stick with the robot armor for endurance so you can just live a bit longer i'd probably do that but overall i like this outfit much more and they both look sick to be honest i don't know which one i like more though for just visual looks all right let's finish these dudes off see if there's any more loot another legendary loot I definitely recommend doing this quest because that's a lot of good loot. All right, I'm going to return back to the vault, everyone, and then we'll talk about what's going on next.
Alrighty, so I'm curious to see what these uh, weapon and the outfit recipe are, so we're not going to wait that long. We're going to just have our troops get back pretty fast. Alright, we're going to get rid of these garbage guns because they're useless. Sheriff's Duster. Oh, a pulse rifle. No way. Whoa. I can't. That's got to be new. I'm, I'm sure that's new. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's definitely new. That's amazing, guys. They finally, they added that, and then the plasma caster. This is OG Fallout all the way, all the way. That's so amazing. The pulse rifle, I think it's from, I don't know if it's Fallout 1, but it's definitely in Fallout 2, because that's what I use in Fallout 2. I shoot everything in the eyes with it, and it's so amazing. Oh, I was trying to equip. I don't even have it yet. That's awesome. I'm going to make that definitely when I get the caps to build a good room. That's awesome. I want to see if I have, um, well, let's get, uh, after this death cloud attack, we'll get Ed to come in. We'll look at Ed. Alrighty, we dealt with the death claws. Um, apparently our bla nuclear blast proof door cannot stop three death claws. So we repaired it. Um, we're going to get, oh, Ed the ghoul, he comes with, is this a named... Okay, let's just get him in here. Alright, Ed, you're gonna go right here so we can get a good look at you. Ed's custom power fist. 16 to 22 damage. That's amazing. And then the Robco R&D suit. We'll keep him in that. We don't want to spread. We don't want to be next to this feral, this ghoul. We don't know if he's gonna go feral. We don't know what's going on. Just kidding. We're not racist in this vault. We're no bigotry whatsoever. All right, Ed, what are you... Your stats are... Uh, he's got 6 Strength, Perception 5, Endurance 7, Charisma 3, Intelligence 9, Agility 3, and Luck 7. Well, I think that's pretty fitting for a Robco employee. Seems like a nice guy. Let's, um... He's not that happy right now, but I can't blame him. Let's go through the vault logs, and we'll see what kind of weapons. We'll read their, um, background and all that. Get that shotgun out of the way. Where are you at? Oh, there we are. Power fist. Add some hydraulic sauce to an already hearty knuckle sandwich. Hell yeah, everyone. That's cool. I'm not sure if I see showed you guys this last time, but it's a technologically advanced weapon of alien origin, but bigger. Oh. The best way to get the most plasma possible on target. Ed's Custom Power Fist. A more sophisticated smashing tool made by your favorite ghoul. Good old Ed. That's uh, that's it for the weapons. Too bad I don't have the pulse rifle yet. I'm sorry about that. Sturdy protection you can wear with company pride. Robco factory uniform. Nice. Oh, that's just the ghost costume. Robco R&D suit. Just wearing it inspires you to build an army of automatons. And then there's one more, which is the alien suit. There we go. Advanced life support and... Sus oh, advanced life support and sensors. Smells sort of minty. Huh. What's that say about those little green aliens? Ed the Ghoul. Oh, there's no... I wish they said something. I think we got James from Fallout 3. That's cool. I didn't even notice that until just now. Because I haven't played this game without knowing Fallout knowledge at the beginning of it. But yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I actually plan on making more Fallout Shelter videos. Um, maybe uh, maybe opening lunch boxes or something like that. Let me know if you guys are interested in that down in the comments if you got this far. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content. And may the wasteland treat you with kindness.